upstate New York. And tonight, we've got an AFC matchup in store for you as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located. In different stadiums, it's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. Here's Watson. Looking for Cooper. That's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. And this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. First down, Chubb. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Moore, the man in motion. Now Watson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. Touchdown, Browns. Elijah Moore, 32 yards. And the Browns have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 59 yards. And the Bills are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Cleveland offense ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Watson. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive seven seven our score after one the start of the second quarter and it's the browns in control of the football 
as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to the ground, this time it's Chubb. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the 43, here's the second down and six. And they'll give to Hunt here on the option. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. <laughs> to throw is Watson. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Still going inside the 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way into the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play. They put points on the board for their team. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll give to Hunt here on the option. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Watson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. He's crossing the bar. Check 26, check 26. 
Chubb on the counter. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, here's Chubb again. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 54 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They run it again with Chubb, powering his way forward. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb from 17 yards out. And the Browns are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to throw it's Allen and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete well they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again throwing is Allen on third oh and a bad throw there it's intercepted Picked up by Jeremiah owusu koromoa And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. They go up the middle with Chubb. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here now, second and four. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Watson, option left. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 
No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. And one of the things that makes this play so difficult to defend is that it has so many options to it. And the quarterback has to go through them and fast. Do you hand it off inside? Do you keep it yourself? Do you pitch it to a trailing back? On this play, it's hard to say that he made the right decision because that play was swallowed up for no gain. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Hopkins kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And the half will begin with a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. But well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Now Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 16. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. Now Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. To the air, Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Allen to throw it. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. Touchdown! Latavius Murray. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have retaken a third-quarter lead. Yeah, that's a nice play design right there. He's going to fake the give, then roll out. And he lets his back leak out toward the pylon. And how about the throw? Right where he needed it to be for him to catch it in stride, he's able to take it into the end zone. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The 
The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, but as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Up the middle. It's Chubb. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 109 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Nothing doing, barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. This drive is pretty clear, almost feels like old. fundamentals doesn't it want to impose their will on the defense was that five straight runs yeah five straight carries to start this drive and like you said the way it's working they may just stick with it under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down they'll try the air now with Watson He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 18. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And Chubble trying to middle here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Set. 
Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw, Watson. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, it's one thing to get the interception. It was a great play, but then you saw how quick.